So what I'm doing right now is uh, I'm just taking the leaves that I'm going to be putting in this tea. And like I said, I probably got way too much, which is cool. I can go ahead and uh, I always uh, break these down and just put this into a uh, little Ziploc bag. So I think this is this is sufficient right here. So you see, I just took maybe about two or three little stems off the stalk. And I just got two little stems of mint. So all I'm about to do right now is just run this under some uh, cold water, let it soak for a minute, let out a little, anything that could be from the, you know, the garden, let that get off of there. And you're gonna have little, you know, maybe little bugs or little dust or whatever, and you'll see it fall right to the bottom of the, um, of the uh, bowl, once you, you know, let it soak for a second. And you can definitely get more into this as well too on the clean side. Um, typically what I like to do is kind of let it soak for a little minute. And then um, after I soak it out, you know, I'll, well, I'll you know, kind of run through it with my hands and let it soak for a second and let everything fall to the bottom. And you can do it two or three more times if you like. Especially with other vegetables, I get into it, celery and stuff like that. But this, you know, the herbs, depending on what part of the garden it's at and everything, you, you know, you can kind of tell what's, what's going to be um, the dirtiest uh, plants in your garden. So we're good to go. That's cleaned. Um, now what I'm about to do is uh, got my little cup here for my tea. I think I'm gonna go ahead and switch that up and use a little bit of agave instead. So it's up to you, it's your world. I'm not doing too much here. I'm just gonna do a, maybe just kind of coat that bottom a little bit. So this is rolling, man. I'm about to go ahead and let this uh, boil here for about maybe five minutes. So let's at 12.06, about 12.11, we'll go ahead and stop that. Then I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, let it, you know, after I let it boil for about five minutes, then I'll just let it simmer for about two or three minutes after that, and I'll just kind of, you know, extract as much of, of the um, oils out of this lemongrass and the uh, mint as possible for this tea. So once that uh, does that, man, we're gonna go ahead and pour this bad boy, and uh, that's it, man. I might hit it with a little dab of lemon or something like that, but uh, that's it. Yeah, just another little side tip or whatever or just another little note about this lemongrass while they um while that tea is in there brewing up i just want to go ahead and let you know like this i know it seems like an overload but uh the sweet thing about it is you can cut this stuff down clean it and i uh, just put it in the big ziploc bags and you can put it into your freezer and um i still have lemongrass from last year to be honest with you that you can easily use for a tea uh, soup or you know whatever stir fries or dishes that you want to use it with so do not be uh, discouraged by the actual size and the amount of it. You can always break it down. You can give it away uh, to some people, you know, put it in bags and uh, give it away to, you know, friends, family, whoever. Um, but yeah, so that's it, man. So took this down, let this simmer down for about three minutes. And uh, this is uh, going to be easy peasy to take this up out of here. You can see everything's kind of uh, gotten a lot darker green, a little bit more forest green instead of that, you know, light green or lets me know you know some, some stuff that's extracted out of here into the actual water itself so I'm just gonna take this bad boy out I'm gonna be real with myself and get a um, just a little side bowl to put this in because that is hot as hell Damn. and you can see the water is you know got a little tint of uh, green to it which is cool. Okay, so I got my cup right here with the agave nectar on the bottom, and that should dissolve nice with this uh, with the actual tea itself. Boom. So I knew I was gonna lose a little bit of water uh, to you know due to uh, evaporation while it was uh, boiling, but there we go, man. So that's lemongrass. And mint tea from the garden easy peasy you can see it has a nice little dark little tint to it and uh excellent for colds cough as well too 
um, on top of a, you know multitude of other benefits as well too. But if you're growing lemongrass and you know you don't really use it a lot, just want to let you know that's definitely one of the uses itself. So I had to go ahead and throw this in here as well too, um, just a little you know kind of tip or a little guide so you kind of know um, how far to go with your tea and everything, especially when you're extracting from uh, the lemongrass. Um, you'll know because when you first pick it, it's going to be real deal strong, robust with the um, with that lemon smell. Like you can see that the uh, like the you know the the color has actually changed. It's not as light as it was when I, you know at the beginning of the video, but I can barely even smell the lemongrass at this point, which is good for me. I'm about to jump into the tea, but it lets me know that most of the oils have been extracted out of there. And the same with the mint as well too. Definitely not um, as green as it was. And I'm telling you, it's not because I'm congested a little bit. Because I could, it's not because I'm congested. I could literally smell this before I, you know, actually drop this into the water. Um, I don't smell anything at all now. So that's a good sign. So you know that you are extracting, you know, some of the oils out of here when you're making these teas. So, all right, I had to throw another little uh, tidbit in here for y'all. Um, so I'm sitting here chilling, about to drink this tea. Well, actually, I just started in. Uh, First of all, and I'm not really a super duper tea, you know, drinker like that. Warm tea, at least. I um, I, I make you know Sorrel and hibiscus and you know other shit like that. But I, you know, usually use a like a steeper and I'll let it get cold. But this, man, cut it out. And I am not even playing with you, man, because I know a lot of times you may think about you know, or at least me, I was thinking you know making these random teas from just different herbs or whatever like what's the taste going to be like i use agave on this one first of all it's a nice little you know nice and sweet it's real real good it's not overly sweet uh that lemongrass is all the way up in there definitely like super duper super duper uh robust on that a uh, nice little hint of that mint on the back end as well too so that makes me feel good because i you know like just going off of common sense like okay if you know, if it doesn't, the leaves doesn't smell as strong as they did when I first pulled them. Obviously, it had to, you know, be extracting some kind of oils out of there into that water. And the taste is absolute, absolutely the proof, man. So, just wanted to let y'all know that as well, too. All right, so there you have it, man. That is the lemongrass and mint tea. Awesome for common colds. Cough as well, too. Achy bones. Um, you know, things like that. It's a multitude of other benefits as well, too, which you can go ahead and check out. Um... But specifically for this video, because I do have a little bit of a congestion, I wanted to go ahead and, you know, touch that and, and, and show, um, you know, just some of the benefits of that. Most, most importantly, I've had this in my backyard all summer and I, you know, rarely even used it. So hit like and subscribe if you like the video. Subscribe if you already have and that way you can see future videos as well too. And please leave, leave any questions, comments, concerns, any kind of feedback, negative or positive in the comments below. I appreciate it. Other than that, yep. Thank you.